Hey, Emma, you all right? Hi, Tony. Uh, I'm just in the middle of my morning run. I can see. Do you want to join me for the rest? No, actually, I'm just getting some fuel from my car and then I'm off to the shops. Oh, hey, hey, you know, our bodies are a little bit like cars and that they need a constant supply of fuel, otherwise they just won't go. Just like you fill your car with petrol, we need to fill our bodies with food to give us energy. Oh. And it's that energy that keeps us healthy and working well. OK. Hey, oh, bye, Tony. Time stop. Time stop. Juice. We worked hard for it. We I think we've did. deserved a taste. So, so. cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's so nice. That is, and I definitely earned it after all that hard work. Thank you so, very much. You're very, very welcome, <laughs> young lady. Cheers. <laughs> That looks like great fun. And speaking of juice, I'm here at the Reese's Apple Festival to find out just how one of these ugh, can give us all the scrummy antioxidants and fibre that we need. And I bet it tastes good too. You've heard that saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, whatever, Grandma. I wonder if it's true. OK, Harry, I've got a very important question to ask you and your tie gave me the indicator that you might have the answer to this question. Now, is it true that an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Emma, it could be more true. It's absolutely true and uh, I would encourage all children, all adults to eat an apple a day. It's full of protein, it's full of carbohydrates and sugars in a nice way that we can digest and it doesn't take over our bodies. And of course there's lots of fibre there to keep us healthy and regular and, and just enjoying life. But the sheer joy of biting into an apple that's at peak of ripeness is just, just satisfying. It does something for the soul. So, not only is it super, super tasty, it's also very good for us. It is, no oh. doubt about it. Harry, I can see loads of different types of apple. Now, are these all made and grown in this area? These are all grown either in Nantwich or within six miles of Nantwich. Every one of them, we've got over 115 varieties here. Throughout the country, we celebrate apples on the 21st of October or sometime in October when it fits in. Just around then? Right. Wow. OK. Mmm. I'm getting a bit more. Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's really yummy. It's a bit of an ugly apple. I'm not. I I, I'm sorry, but it tastes completely different. Mm. <laughs> Are you sure it's an apple? Mm. <laughs> I'm not as keen on Katie. Mm. That is what the apple's called, isn't it? I'm not just offending mm. someone, mate. That's fine. <laughs> this is winter gem. Right, winter gem. Right. Lovely. What's this one called again? This is Orleans Renette. Orleans, oh, right, okay. It's a French okay. apple, came into this country about 1776. And they're grown around this area now? Yes, yes. Right. Birds of Pollock. It's very nice. That tastes completely different. Mm. They do all taste different, but they're all apples. This is very confusing for me. It sounds crazy, but I really did think, oh, all apples, are... an apple's an apple. How right. wrong was I? I definitely need a piece of cheese now. Mm. Now you've said it, I feel like that would go very nicely with some cheese. This <laughs> is Withington Welter. This is, again, as a Cheshire apple, traditional to Cheshire. Would you just eat that like normal, for, like in your packed lunch? As it is now, it would be delightful to eat now, but it's usually grown as a baking apple or a stewing apple. But okay. look at the size of it. Which... But traditionally, they were raised and developed in different parts for local needs. Right, OK, but that means, though, that you're telling me that anyone can have a grow... A, a, have a grow? There you go, that was quite good. Have a grow at growing apples at their, in their gardens at Yes, home. absolutely. Any of these varieties uh, would grow in anybody's garden in this part of the world. So, tell us a little bit about these trees here. Have you got any top apple tips for someone who was going to plant a tree? Well, yes. Um, I mean, you need to buy a, a good quality tree. Most trees now are sold in containers, but the planting season normally is mid-November until the end of March. And when I'm looking for a good tree, I always look for a good rootstock down here like this, and I like to see a good strong graft union in there without any disease symptoms there at all. I like to see a nice straight stem coming up here, and the branches coming out at as wider angle as possible. And the branches arranged around the circumference of the trunk, evenly. 
Uh, this is an open centre bush tree, so the centre is going to be open there, and uh, that looks to me quite a nice tree. But of course, we've got uh, to look for root systems as well. So we're looking for good, healthy root systems down here. And of course, when you're planting the apple tree, you do need to make sure that these roots are teased out so they can grow out, pointing all the way around the tree to give stability, stop it falling over in the wind. Gosh, that's lots of information there. I'm very excited yes. to plant my own tree at home, but yeah. if I was going to plant my own tree at home, how long would I have to wait until I see apples? Well, um, not too long, fortunately, because these are dwarfing rootstocks, and they're precocious rootstocks, and they give us fruit early in the life of the tree. I reckon in two to three years, possibly three to four years, you'll be into fruit. Well, that sounds fantastic, and I think I'm going to take one home with me today and it's give it a good go. brilliant. <laughs> That's all from us at Reese's. We need to say a big, massive thank you to Harry and all of his information. We can plant trees in our gardens and we can grow our own apples, can't we? Absolutely. Um, it's so easy. Select your tree, plant it, grow it and enjoy it and celebrate apples for the rest of your life. And Emma, I yeah. want you to celebrate tonight by having this lovely apple for you to bake. Oh my gosh, that sounds Fill amazing. Full of raisins and sugar. Oh, that sounds and lovely. And some custard. It's heaven, heaven. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you so much, Harry. You're welcome.